Let's go. Uh, so my name is Adam. Uh, I'm the CEO of Polygonic. You might know us. But like uh, also, I was actually, uh, ever since I was 18 years old, I was creating medical schemes uh, with a relative of mine. And I would like to talk about it uh, tonight. But I've got 185 slides, so we need to be fast, okay? So like, did you have enough coffee? <laughs> nice, okay, let's go. So uh, this is just to show you, like, that's the medical schemes on the left, that's the visualizations on the right, yeah? And like, this is a quick precap. So in 2010, uh, I've started working for her. Daniela Fischerova, she's actually my relative, and she's like the top oncogynecologist in the world. Randomness, sort of. Then in 2014, I began working on an anatomy 3D model in Blender for no reason. It took a lot of time, and it, there was no reason. But eventually, we actually used it for the medical schemes as well. Then in 2016, I've moved to London, and I was working uh, at a company called Asymmetrica LTD. And we were working for like big architecture companies like Foster's, uh, Gensler, AIDAS, WPP, and uh, BDG, Zaha Hadid, and so on. So that's where I got my architectural visualization knowledge in a way. And then I came back to Prague, Czech Republic. People call it Czechia, but I think we're just, uh, you know, like people are checking stuff out all the time and I'm confused because like, is it Czech or is it Slovak or is it just like checking stuff out? So I came back to Prague and we founded a company with my brother who's a programmer and another guy uh, whose name is Johan Jan Vopička uh, from uh, like game dev background. And uh, in 2023, that's funny, I got an email from a guy called William Marvez He's like a 55-year-old guy, sorry William, I don't know how old you are exactly. Uh, and he worked for Co-Architects, and that's a company in LA that does, uh, you know, like large-scale medical healthcare, like buildings, like huge, huge buildings. And he was interested specifically in us because of Blender. That's the important part. And uh, so far we've, uh, whatever, like there's too many slides. Sorry, no, yeah. Let's go on. This is the first blender I opened. This is like uh, one of the first models I did. I'm not a military guy anymore, but I was when I was a kid. And I did a city, like a fantasy city, because we wanted to create like video games and we loved uh, Gothic. You know, one of the best RPG games there ever was. Yeah, sort of like this, not finished. Maybe one day. And uh, I teach Blender. Let's go. This is her. This is who I'm doing the schemes for. Daniela. She's been endorsed by people, yeah. Charles University in Prague, you might have heard of it. And that's her explaining like onco-gynecology to a bunch of guys. <laughs> and this is what ChatGPT thinks about her. Uh, I had to correct ChatGPT because it had no idea, you know, <laughs> like there's, there's actually a writer who has exactly the same name, but now ChatGPT knows. So this is Daniela and she might look like a good doctor, <laughs> but she's also fun. I like fun people. And uh, these are the schemes that we're doing. So. Uh, this is actually sort of based on the anatomy model that I did. I'll talk about it in a little while, but this is what we did like uh, four, 14 years ago when I was 18. That's the computer that I had. Unfortunately, I'm not taking photos of my workstation like every year, so like this is from 2007. I don't know why, but like uh, you can see there's tape on my headphones because I had to you know, fix them. And like I, I was doing like a $5 per hour job it was a good job, I liked it. Unfortunately, I just got my driver's license when it finished, you know, because I was 18. And I crashed her car. She was like, I wanted to go to my girlfriend's. It was like, you should drive. I shouldn't have. So uh, we, <laughs> I had to buy this <laughs> with the money that I made. It's a funny story, actually. So these are some of the schemes that we're doing. Yeah, they've got a special word for everything. Dosral. 
to jsem trochu dosral, se <laughs> mluvám. Uh, yeah, so lateral, dorsal, vesicle, sagittal, transverse, coronal. You know, I just want them to tell me like left, right, top, bottom. You know, that's very easy. But like they have a special word for everything, unfortunately. Schemes, it's, in an, it's done in Inkscape, love Inkscape. I have donated ever since I realized I have never donated to Inkscape even though I've used it a lot. This is the anatomical I was talking about. So it's unfinished because it's very hard to finish, you know, yeah. Spend a lot of time with that. Like it's actually correct anatomically, the, how the muscles, yeah, lots of, lots of time. So I was thinking maybe I can make some money. So I wanted to sell it on TurboSquid, but unfortunately the water normal map, which is a modifier, the ocean modifier from Blender, made more money for me on TurboSquid than the skeleton anatomy model. That was like, I've spent so much time doing this. Oh my God. <laughs> and I wanted to give a shout out like last year, I think it was. There was a guy who had a presentation about Z anatomy. Wait, what? Where's the videos? Okay. It's Z anatomy. Look it up. It's interesting. I'm wondering, like, are the videos gone from the presentation? No, they're not. Is there like a person somewhere? Like, is this like AI? <laughs> oh yeah. Extremely impressive. Okay, if we have to do this for every video that I have in my presentation, we're not going to make it in time. Let's go on. Yeah, this is schemes, schemes, and uh, I was modeling the probes. Let's go on. Yeah, there's schemes again, and there's more schemes, you know, and then we're showing the different vessels. Yeah, blah, blah. Oh, no, let's go back. Yeah, so here we're using render set, which is one of our add ons that we're developing to like uh, preserve like a scene state in Blender, you know, and you can change between those. And then you can render them out with the specific collections, with the specific HDRIs, with a specific sample count, with a specific dimensions, and so on. Let's go on. Like uh, we're out of time. Yeah. Okay. You you don't want them to do this all at once. <laughs> you know. And it's in Blender. I wish the videos like do they play? No, they don't play. Like. I should have just used GIFs, you know, GIFs are just, they work. Yeah, it's all in Blender. Oh, I can never, I, I can never, I can never make this in time. Oh my God, like this is too slow. Like I want to be faster. Yeah, so this is me working on the schemes a week ago. Let's go, yeah, lots of schemes, lots of, I, I was sleeping too. Yeah, too much work. It's not superficial, it's actually very interesting. Oh, that's a video as well, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this is uh, an animation of all the schemes that uh, we've done over the last like six years. And it's 22 seconds at 30 frames per second. So just like to show you like, uh, it's been a lot of work. Maybe let's move on. Yeah, then uh, as a side story, I got expelled from uh, the Faculty of Architecture in Prague because I just, I set my goals too high. <laughs> I wanted to create a movable building, you know, like move, movable floor plans. And the funny, the funny story, yeah, that's, that's what I did when they expelled me. <laughs> so then I went to Asymmetrica. We need to, we need to skip some stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I went, it's over. Uh, it's my monitor. This is what we did. Uh, this is also what they did before I came there, but I just love the image, so I had to share it. And this is in Shenzhen, Shenzhen, China, DGI, DGI headquarters, the drones. So this is when I was leaving, I was very sad. I already unplugged my monitor. This is my monitor at the bus, you know, the... <laughs> That's it, yeah. And then, uh, after I came back to Czechia, 
I co-founded Polygon Inc. with my brother, who was actually working for uh, Facebook at the time on Oculus uh, Quest. And eventually, he's, he's decided to join me too in this like uh, thing that we're doing that's called Polygonic. Okay, right now I was planning to like unbutton my jacket. <laughs> yeah, this has been just like 10 bucks. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. But let's move on. Okay, so this is the last medical schemes you'll see, and we are 9 minutes 45, I've got 5 extra minutes, so it's pretty good. Let's go. So, do you like the purple color? Yes. Yes. But what about missing textures? <laughs> it's true. That's what I thought back then, you know? Like there were no assets for Blender to do professional art quiz, while like 3ds Max was just like, woo, we've got like Evermotion, Max 3, you know, like so, so much of the good stuff. <laughs> I never wanted to use anything else, okay? Like uh, Blender is, uh, just a way of life for me, in a way. And this is uh, the prompt that I gave to ChatGPT. And uh, I had an idea, maybe, maybe there will be people interested in learning about Arquis. So, I was thinking, maybe I should create like a YouTube channel. But it's got zero subscribers. And I, I will do videos once I have 1,111 subscribers. Then I'll start working. <laughs> but before that, I'm not gonna do a thing. Yeah, I'm very happy to share everything that I know. I want more people to be very good at visualizing architecture because I think it's important. That's it. So <laughs> now the funny story. So like last year in uh, April, there was this guy, he's actually originally from Puerto Rico, and he talks a lot, you know. And his name is William Marvez, and he, he sent me this email, hello Mr. and Mrs. PolyQ, are you all available to do architectural rendering in the USA? How much? In dollars? Like what the hell? <laughs> so, uh, and I didn't read the last, if I read this, I would have known it's not spam, you know, but it was just, yeah, I thought it's spam. Uh, a big mistake, that was 2021, actually, I think August, uh, and then he was messaging us again, like, Material League 5 is missing water. Of course it is, because we've made Aquatic, man, it makes sense. Just buy it or, like, send us a message and we'll give it to you for free, you know, because that's how we operate. So eventually, he's actually messaged me for real. Dear Polygonic, long time follower, first time to request your services, would like to connect and see if he can hire you all. He again mentions he wants to hire all of us, I don't know why, for your services. Best will. Yeah, so back then, like, we did this project just to show, like, uh, that we can do stuff, you know, this is not actually professional work. Well, in a way it is, but like it was for the portfolio. It's based on a different project we did uh, previously. And this is another scene that's using the same, uh, it's a video, but it's, yeah, we can never make this in time. I've got like 11 minutes, maybe we can, yeah. It might be possible, but like uh, we have to see how, f yeah, okay. <laughs> There was another video on the right that I liked more. That's like four months into the Ukrainian sort of, yeah. <laughs> we never published it because we were afraid of the backlash in a way. You know, we don't, we love Russians. We just don't like the government. So yeah. So this is the first project that we did for them. It's April 2023, and it's been a lot of images. Uh, 
the scene is pretty massive and you know how it is. Like at the beginning of a project, you like it. Then it gets, does the video play? No, it doesn't play. No, the previous, this one, this is a video. I should have just made GIFs, you know? Because they work. Yeah. 23.9 gigabytes of VRAM. <laughs> System is out of GPU memory all the time. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of images. Night shot, day shot, night shot. Blender background. It's probably a video. And this is slowing the talk down a lot. <laughs> and it's sped up. I had to speed all the videos up, but... And we, we just did this by ourselves. They never asked us to do animations, you know, but we were just like... Cycles is really fast, so maybe we should. Let's go. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you for the video. Okay, images, 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 images. Let's just skip the images because we don't have time. Yeah, lots of images. I, I, I did Grand Theft Ambulance for them. <laughs> they had a big laugh. Like, can we play this? This is a video as well. GTA, yeah. <laughs> And then it ends. And then you press F and you go into the hospital, basically. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so the second project was a competition. Unfortunately, they didn't win it. So there's so many videos. I, I guess we should just skip the videos because they don't work. It's 2024. How is it possible the videos don't work? Like, immediately. Yeah, because I, I wanted to show you guys like how it actually looks. Because like you can always show the renders, but it's not the most interesting, right? Like you want to see the Blender scene, you know? You want to see the UI. So yeah, a couple of images. Let's just skip the images. Uh, because images are boring compared to animations, to be honest. This is an animation as well. Let's just skip it. Uh, that's, you don't want to see it. No. It's not that good. Yeah, let's just, this animation as well. Let's just skip it, skip it, skip it. Yeah, but this is the, this is the third project. It's in Wichita, Kansas. Kansas? 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 I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. Interesting. It's just six, six letters, but it's hard. Again, let's do the video of the scene, and it's sped up. Oh, it's Wichita too. That's before I started naming them sped up. Yeah, you can see the scene is lagging quite a bit, but it's not too bad. This one is like 19 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, let's go, let's go on. That's a nice image. I just wanted to show this one. Really like it. My colleague did it. And this is an aerial shot again. And uh, the version on the left is actually an unfinished version of the design. And the render on the right is also an unfinished version of their design. But I liked it more than the final design. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. And this is an interior shot, sort of. And uh, now there's, there's like six slides of like uh, the gradual development and then I said the exposure wrong. <laughs> uh, 
And like RenderSet, our add-on, it just renders everything and saves it into a JPEG or a PNG or, a, or, or, or an EXR, whatever you choose, and you can't do anything uh, about it later. So this is what I had in my folder in the morning, but this is the final one. The people are photoshopped, the three people on the left. And interestingly enough, I told you, you will not see any more medical schemes, but they asked us to put medical schemes in the classroom. So I put ours. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's a skip it animation. Uh, okay, so this is the latest project we did for them. It's unfortunately not possible to share the details, but it's a big building. And I actually flew to LA. I'm, I'm flying again on Saturday morning. Unfortunately, I would have loved to stay in Amsterdam and to work on it. So this is like uh, the work desk that I had. Like uh, I come in, they give me a card. And it's again the same video, if you can play it. Oh my God, we've got uh, how much time do we like really have? Not a lot, like four minutes. Yeah, so let's move on because there's uh, there's a much like more interesting like video from the viewport. I've got so much more to s the videos are really like the way. I'm sorry, guys. I should have put it in a GIF. You know, because this is, yeah, so like what we're doing here is uh, the sun, the Nishita sky, amazing, by the way, it's keyframed to, to frames. So like as you're changing the frames, the HDR changes in a way. Let's move on. Renderings, boring, yeah. This is a GIF, <laughs> and you can see like it has to be actually pixelated because of the logo. But yeah, uh, this is an animation. I would probably like to show you this one because we're quite proud of this one, if we can. Like, is it an animation? I think this was supposed to be an animation. Yes, okay, Anchpelen. So we're like trying to communicate architecture through animations because I think people just understand it better when stuff is moving. This is in Unreal because they also want us to put the projects into Unreal uh, for them to be able, does it play? It's a video. Okay, I'll, I'll just have images the next time around because images are probably safer for presentations. Yeah, so it's only Unreal, it's sped up. Let's move on. Images, oh, Drive Google, nice, I like it. Images, that's an animation, let's just skip it. Images, 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 yeah, it's a helicopter. This is actually, it was a mistake, it wasn't on purpose, but like a guy working on the project, he linked in the helicopter and somehow it appeared in the image uh, right here. More images, more images, more images. Okay, so <laughs> finally, um, I'm getting like to, <laughs> let's go. More sky is good. People love the sky, yeah? This is a GIF, so it plays right away. Did you notice? I'll just put GIFs in my presentations from now on. Yeah, more sky is good. Do or don't zoom, I don't have like a visual guide for this, but because I don't really do it the other way than I, than I wanna, but like uh, either like zoom in or like keep it white, you know? Nothing in between, I think. The object color shader trick, you can have like a different color. This is a video also. Like you can plug in the color. Let's just skip the video though. Yeah, and then like this is how it looks in the viewport uh, when you turn on like the object color display. That's the harbor 
UCLA project, the first one that I was showing. And this is how it looks when you don't set up viewport colors, or like object colors, actually, in this case. But I'll get to viewport colors a little bit later. Let's, let's go, because like I've got a minute left. So camera row, very important. It's basically color grading, but like, you should do it, and you should try to match the real life as much as possible, and also like make it a bit, you know, like, like enticing. Smart UV project always aligns the UVs vertically. Let's skip it. Just the black base color. Yeah, I've had videos for all of these, but we can't play them in time. Like if you if you put the base color to black, you will see the reflections better. Many materials have a clear coat of a kind. Uh, I've listed some of them out. So like you want to get this in your renderings because it really helps with realism. Uh, random per island, again, like you can use the random per, per island. You can create a rainbow, plug it into the mix color node and <laughs> what the hell does this mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can, no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, guys, I'm out of time. Yeah, it's just, uh, and the viewport colors, this is how it looks without viewport colors. And if we saw the video, you would see how it looks with viewport colors set up. Like, you would actually see, like, where the road is where the concrete is, where the wood is, and so on. And multiple important sample people don't know, but like, uh, it's a video again, I'm sorry. I've got too many videos, man. Like, and this is a very interesting trick. Some people might not realize, but you can always turn off your entire scene with the display icon in the outliner, and it unloads from VRAM. So if you're running out of VRAM, just turn it off and press F12. Let's skip it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.